Here's another food that fools. It's Rice Krispie Treats that look like ground meat. Fun, fun idea for Halloween. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo facts. 12. Hello, everyone. I guess we can also call this one another food that fools. So, starting off with. 16 ounces of marshmallows, a couple tablespoons of butter. You're going to melt this in the microwave for about a minute or two until the marshmallows are puffy and melted. Stir it together. This recipe says to add a little bit of peanut butter, and I really like the flavor that gave to these, but that's up to you. You can add a little bit of vanilla extract, or in this case, I added two tablespoons of peanut butter. Then I added some red food coloring. I'm using gel paste food coloring, so it's super concentrated. I put two very large drops or two or three drops in there. Gave it a stir until I, I got a, a fairly dark, deep shade of red. And then I added in six cups of Rice Krispie cereal. And then all you have to do is just keep stirring until it is well combined and the color is evenly distributed. And that is it. That is your ground beef. Now to make some blood, you're going to use a couple of tablespoons of corn syrup. You can use light or dark, but the dark corn syrup is better to start off with because it helps with the color of the blood. Adding a little red food color. And to deepen this to make it really look like blood, we're going to add just a little bit of chocolate syrup. Add a little chocolate syrup at a time until you get the color of blood that you like. It looks very realistic. This is actually a good recipe to use if you're just using, want to make fake blood for another purpose for Halloween. Now you'll need some styrofoam meat trays. I went to my local grocery store, talked to the meat manager, and he sold me about six of those for like 50 cents or something, you know, small like that. And so that way they're brand new and nice and clean. Then you're just gonna take some of the Rice Krispie treats, put it on the styrofoam plate, just mold it into the shape of what you'd normally get at a grocery store. And then I just drizzled a little bit of that fake blood around it. Now you can also make these into like hamburger patties because I've also seen that done as well. And then all you have to do is wrap it up tightly with some plastic wrap, making sure there are no creases or wrinkles on the package in the front. And then add your label. What I did is I bought shipping labels. I went to the label company's website. You put the template number in and then you just design your own label. And it's the Avery website for these labels. And then you just create what you want. Now, this these were really fun to make because you, you can be very creative and think of things that you'd like to put on these. There I had some porch pirate, the squirrel that empties my bird feeder. I had the annoying neighbor that plays loud music, four o'clock in the morning, vegan, and some ground hound. These things are so much fun and so realistic looking, especially in a group like this. So why don't you tell me what you'd put on your label? What would you grind up and serve for dinner? So I'm putting two things up on your screen right now. I'm putting my Halloween playlist. That is a whole bunch of really fun Halloween treats to make. And I'm also putting up my Food That Fools playlist that you also might enjoy. Thank you for watching.